Hello YouTubers, this is Natural Praise Girl coming to talk to you about what happened to me four days ago. I had been previously for the past two weeks uh, starting my journey towards the raw food feast which is basically made up of eating nothing but fresh fruit, fresh vegetables, drinking plenty of water and for me also getting in my exercise well monday night i'm so ashamed to say this on monday night i decided that i wanted to have a cheeseburger and fries so i proceeded to cook that for myself needless to say after eating healthy for two weeks and my body really becoming adjusted to that over those two weeks. Um, and mind to say that I lost three pounds in those two weeks. I have done nothing and have craved nothing for the past five days. Six, seven, well, it's almost a week now. Today's Saturday. I crave nothing but bad foods. And unfortunately, I haven't eaten nothing but bad foods. I am so like feeling very sluggish where I was starting to feel very energized. I am having aches where I wasn't having aches other than from, from working out. And I don't even know what to say other than when you make a decision to change your eating plan because I hate to say diet when you make a decision to change your eating plan your body is accepting the new things that you're bringing into your body and since I was bringing in such healthy things to turn around and put fried foods pop sugar drinks and so forth back into the mix my body just totally went against me and it is something that once I get back to doing this which I said I'll give myself until Sunday which I know is a bad thing it sounds almost like a cop-out and that's kind of what I'm feeling like right about now but on Monday I'm gonna restart my whole food fast and I don't want to call it a fast either. I want to call it a feast, which is what they call it, um, which is what it is actually called. And I had to do some real serious soul searching to get my mind to the point where I realized that there with anything that's worth having and having good health and having a healthy body is worth the sacrifice. I have been an emotional eater. I have been a person that just loves good food. And I wasn't brought up where you um, denied yourself any of those foods um, just because you were wanting to be healthy. I was a person when I was younger, I worked out four times a week. I ate pretty much whatever I wanted, but I was extremely busy. I'm busy now, but it's in a different way. I'm running around, but then because my kids are at doctor's appointments and so forth, I'm sitting at those appointments. So I'm really what you would say. I'm really not exerting the amount of energy that I would normally be exerting, even if I was still working currently. Um, I was up running around all day through the office, uh, taking care of patients or helping other people. So this is a big uh, deal for me to have gotten to that point where I actually started to feel the benefits to come back to where I currently am now. So I would encourage everyone as I am encouraging myself to stick to your goals. See the end result of where you're trying to get and work hard to get there. 
when that first night when I ate the the burgers and fries and I wanted the burger so bad and it was so good until 20 minutes later and at that point I actually had to keep myself from getting sick it was the worst feeling ever and I had maybe a handful and my hand is not that big but I had a handful I'll say from here to here of fries now my burger on the other hand was about from here to here I was extremely extremely caught off guard that that would affect me in that way but it catapulted me to understand the, the severity of the change in your eating habits and the effect of how it is when you eat things that are not good for you versus when you eat things that are more um, healthy for your body so stay tuned for my next video regarding my health and I am proud to say that during that two weeks, I did manage to lose three pounds. And I'm kind of all over the place with this because my mind is just racing with different things that happen because I want to make sure that I share with you as much as I can about my personal experience with this situation. I don't know if there's any other people out there that had the same experience. If you did, comment. Let me know what it was like for you. What did it take for you to come to some realizations? of how you need to treat your body there's a lot of things that our bodies can do without there are some things that our bodies cannot do without are you taking vitamins are you drinking the proper amount of water that you need to be drinking are you including the right fruits and vegetables one thing that I said I would not do right away is get rid of the protein I would only consume uh, fish and chicken those are my those are my things right now I want to get to the point where others are where they're just only doing the fruits and vegetables only and drinking water and please be taking your your vitamins and other nutrients if you deem necessary see your doctor get blood work done know where your know where your your um, labs are that's not the word I'm trying to find but know what your labs are know where your levels are know if your body needs vitamin D because you don't want to end up with rickets no that still is prevalent although people think that it's not but it's because of the fish the deficiency of vitamin D know if you're a woman where your hormone levels are are you still there, there's a lot of different factors in figuring out what works well for your body. But don't go in it not knowing these things because you can cause damage to yourself. You can cause damage to your muscles and your tissues by not properly making sure that you're covering all your nutrients that you need. That is all that I have at this time. Again, like I said, if you have any input that you would like to give, please by all means do that. Let's share. Let's encourage one another, and I will talk to you again soon. Love you and be blessed. Hello, Phil.